Hello. How many of you remember G4, the video game network? G um, this isn't going to be like a history documentary type thing, um, you know, like gaming historian and wrestling with gaming, the type of videos they do. They, one of them, or both of them, should do a video on uh, G4. I think that would be kind of cool. Maybe, maybe they will down the road. Um, but let me just take you back to... Remember this, in the early 2000s, remember, not YouTube wasn't around, and believe it or not, not everyone had the internet back then either. But there was a television network called G4, or G4 TV, which was centered all around video games. Um, you know, the hobby, so to speak. Um, and <clears throat> a funny thing, my brother and I used to call it the Game Channel, or the Gaming Channel, which... It's funny to think about it because, like, nowadays when you say, like, gaming channel, it's not that people think you're talking about YouTube, but, like I said, we, that's what we used to call it, but it was more of a television network. So, anyway, uh, some of the sh there was actually some really cool shows on there, because, like I said, this was before YouTube and everything. I mean, and it wasn't until, like, 2000, like, 8 or 9 that YouTube really started to, like, pick up with, like, um, you know, web show series, that type of stuff. Like, well, give or take. It, was, it wasn't around in the beginning of YouTube for the first couple of years, we'll put it that way. But some of the shows that I remember watching on oh, G4, there was Sweat, which which was... Cat just sneezed. <laughs> uh, Sweat was a show based all around um, uh, sports games, which not really my forte. I'm not really into sports. Sports in general and sports games is not really my thing. I mean, there are a couple of sports games that I like. Maybe, like, some of the more older ones, like, because they're more simplistic or something. But, like I said, it's not really my thing. Cat's trying to leave. Anyway, uh, some of the, there was a show called Cheat, which was... Like I said, this was before everyone had the internet and stuff, so... But it was a show basically all about, like, different walkthroughs of games. And it would be, like... They'd give you, like tips and tricks are like, you know, basically like the type of stuff you'd read in like game magazines like Nintendo Power and Game Pro and stuff. It was kind of cool. There was another show called, um, oh, what the hell was it? Oh, X-Play. That was one with, from what I recall, they would do like reviews, basically, of like different games and like new consoles and like accessories, things like that. That was one of the only shows that really withstood the test of time. Like it would... It was on for a number of years, and then there was, like, reruns and stuff. That was, like, one of the only shows that would kind of remain, but I'll get to more on that later on. And there was a show my brother really enjoyed called Arena, which was... You'd have um, two guys... It was, I think it was always guys. There was two groups, like, of four people, like, friends or whatever. Um, they would play... It was almost like a game show, in a way, because <clears throat> they fought, like, in three... They played three games against each other, the two teams. Um, and I think it was, like, whoever got the most points would, like, you know... I forget what they won, because I, I didn't watch that show in years. I'm sure a lot of these shows, they're probably on, like, YouTube. Um, but anyway, the, the games they played were Unreal Tournament and some kind of robot game. I want to say, like, Mech Assault or something, but I, I could be totally wrong. I don't know what it was. And the third one was always... Um, it would vary, it was different for each episode, like, but it, this was during the 6th gen, so they would play games like Tekken 4, or Mario Party, um, Dance Dance Revolution, Time Splitters, I don't know if they ever played Time Splitters, but I'm just giving an example, like, that's kind of what, um, they would play. My brother loved that show, um, and I thought it was pretty cool, too, and it's funny, if you think about it, in a way, that was almost like the first Let's Play, or Let's Plays, so to speak, because like I said, this was before YouTube was around. And I don't even know when Let's Plays started on YouTube exactly. Um, and a show that I always really enjoyed was called Filter, which was a countdown video, um, or a show, excuse me. <laughs> Years of watching countdown videos on YouTube. Yeah, I always loved countdown type of stuff. Um, like, I remember... Jeez, again, like in the early 2000s, I believe, um, I think it was the Bravo Network used to always do, like, a, um, every October they would do a countdown of the top 100 scary movies or something like that. I used to watch it every year. And they actually made a couple of new ones, too, but my point being, I always loved countdown stuff. Still do. You know, I watch them all the time on YouTube. Uh, anyway, 
That's what Filter was. It was a show, like, of top tens. Like, each episode was different. It would be, like, you know, top ten um, fighting games or top ten video game villains. Top ten worst games. I think there was actually two of those episodes like that. Sometimes um, they would actually split the list in half. At least, I don't know. Yeah. But the one episode I remember they did that was um, the top ten Mario games because they did two lists. It was top five, like, core games, and then the top five spin-offs. And I still remember, you know, it was probably, like, 15, 16 years ago that I remember watching this episode, and I still remember it to this day. Um, the top five spin-offs were, um, it was, number five was, oh, crap, Mario Party 4, I believe, because it was when that one was new. Um, and then there was, what was number four? What the hell was it? I can't believe I forgot. Oh, Paper Mario. Number three was Super Mario RPG. Yeah, number two was Mario Kart 64. And number one was Smash Brothers Melee. Even though... That's not really a Mario spin-off. It's more of a crossover game, but whatever. It works. <laughs> and then the top five core games. Uh, number five was Super Mario Sunshine. Four was uh, Super Mario World 64. Forget what number three was. It was, I think it was either Yoshi's Island or Super Mario Two, but I'm not positive. And then this happened occasionally. There was actually a tie for first place between Super Mario World, like this poster I got here, and Super Mario Three. Now both are, if you had to ask me, both are great games, but Super Mario World is just that that game just. Well, I could. Tell you why I love that game, but we'd be here all day. That that one's definitely better in my opinion. That's my favorite. Out of the two and out of, like, all the Mario games for over the course of time. Anyway, whenever they had a tie like that, they would, like, go around asking people and saying, like, yeah, which game do you like better and why and stuff like that. And, you know, people giving their thoughts and stuff. And I remember Super Mario World 1. Um, but, yeah, that was Filter. That was a cool show. Uh... A couple of other shows that I can't remember the name of them, but there was one where, what the hell was his name? No, excuse me, what, uh, I forget what it was called, but it was like, I only remember a few episodes, but it was almost like a little, like a history of, vi that might even have been the name of it, history of video games or something, but each episode was like, almost like a documentary of different video game franchises, like, the, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing one about Final Fantasy. One that I really fondly remember seeing was um, was about the Mortal Kombat series. You know, like they talked about where they got the idea for the game. Like it was basically, it was going to be, they wanted to make a game based off of like a, a movie actor. I forget who it was, but because for, uh, maybe it was like licensing issues or something. I don't know. They couldn't, for one reason or another, they pulled a plug on that, on that like they couldn't do it or something. So... They decided to make a fighting game. They converted this movie actor, whoever, into Johnny Cage. And then, you know, they came up with the ideas for the other characters. Like, Liu Kang was obviously Bruce Lee because, you know, that's like a tradition with fighting games. You always got to have a Bruce Lee character. You know, and then, um, uh, Raiden, they got the idea from Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> Kano was, they actually got the idea from Terminator. You know, like the robot eye and the metal plate thing. Even though Terminator's more like, yeah. And then they're like, uh, they're like, oh, let's make two ninjas that are like, um, the only difference is like part of the color scheme, and then um, each of them has a different power. Oh, so Scorpion and Sub Zero, and then they needed to add one more character, or like, the, so they were told. So like, oh, we didn't do any female characters, so that was Sonya. Um, you know, they talk about like, like all the stuff that went on behind, like, for example, when the game was ported to the home consoles, and Nintendo's like, oh no, no blood, no blood, you know, so. They changed the blood from red to gray to make it more, like, sweat, you know, and then they talked about, you know, they talk about all that and how, fortunately, Nintendo did kind of come to their senses with that, fortunately, but, <laughs> um, you know, things like that, and they also, the things like how in probably 94, 95, something like that, because the movie came out in 95, I don't, but, um, how uh, New Line Cinema had approached them and said, like, we'll give you 50 grand or whatever to, if we can make a video ga game. If we could make a movie based off of Mortal Kombat, which, so they did. And, 
You know, I, I love that movie. I think it's the best video game-based movie ever made. You know, the second one is bad, but it has its moments. Like, I kind of like it in a way. Like, it's guilty pleasure of mine, I guess you could say. But the first one is way better. I love that movie. Um, yeah. Um, another show that... I can't remember the name of it, but it was uh, two guys. One of them was Tommy, Tommy Tallarico, who did the music for a lot of interplay games, including um, the MDK games, the Earthworm Jim games, Skeleton Warriors, uh, Terminator on Sega CD. Uh, I'm trying to think what else he did. Yeah. Well, that's just a couple. He did a bunch more, but yeah, he, his games always had a, a Wild Nine. That was another one I came to in mind. And, Hidden Gem for the PS1. Great game. Hard, but good game. Yeah, his ga um, games, mostly it was like inter-play. Um, um, a lot of games with his music were awesome. But uh, yeah, so that was, it was these two guys that went back to that show. <laughs> um, it was Tommy Tallarico, and I forget the other guy's name, which maybe that's for the best. But these two guys would review games, and, you know, they'd pick a game and review it, and then say like, on the positive side, the music's awesome, it's got a great uh, story. On the negative side, the controls are kind of wonky and the um, graphics aren't too great or something like that, but... Um, the thing was, and sometimes they would do solo reviews and the other guy, not Tommy, the other guy, like I said, I'm sure someone in the comments will say, oh, his name was, what's his, whatchamacallit? I get thirsty when I talk a lot. <laughs> I'm like a, I I'm like a fish. I drink a lot of water. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. So um, the reason I didn't like that other guy on this show was I, I don't know. He just I feel like a lot of times he didn't really know what he was talking about. Like, and, and <laughs> to be honest, I'm I'm pretty sure uh, Tommy actually like roasted him on occasion. Like, dude, like, what are you? <laughs> um. You know, for a uh, case in point, he did a, um, not Tommy, the other guy, like like I said, I'm sure somebody in the comments will <laughs> say his name was, um, but anyway, he did a review of Bomberman Jetters for the GameCube, which was a great game. I, uh, I love that game. I love Bomberman, I love that game, but he, um, he gave the game a negative review, like, and the reason he gave it a neg negative review was because he was comparing it to Halo. Like, okay, you know, I love Halo as well as Bomberman, but it's like, to me, that doesn't make sense. You're, you're comparing, like, a platformer to a first-person shooter. I mean, you know, graphics-wise, sure, but if that's what he's comparing. But, like, why are you comparing two different genres? That would be like... <laughs> Let me put it this way. I never got, really got into the God of War games. I'm not saying they're bad, I'm just... It's not my cup of tea, but it would be like... Imagine if I gave a bad review to a God of War game, and I said, like, yeah, I don't like this game because it's not, like, Mortal Kombat. Like, what? You know, comparing a hack-and-slash game to a fighting game just because they're both graphic or something, like, what? that makes no sense. Like, <laughs> like I said, that guy, it just never really... I don't know. But for quite a few years, uh, G4 was a really cool channel, or network, whatever. But down the road, probably, like, the early, late 2000s, the late 2000s, it really started to change. It it pretty much became like MTV, you know? I mean, to be honest, I never really watched MTV for music. Well, occasionally. Mostly I would just watch it for like the original program that they had back in the 90s, like uh, Aeon Flux, <coughs> Beavis and Butthead, Celebrity Deathmatch, absolutely loved that show, uh, Daria. Um, I don't know how many people remember this one. My brother and I used to watch it all the time. It was a game. I think it was kind of short-lived. It was called Cartoon Sushi, which was just like a bunch of random shorts or something. I found the episodes on YouTube and I watched them. And I was like, eh, it doesn't really hold much. It doesn't really grab me like it used to. <laughs> but you look at MTV now, it's just, well, reality shows. <laughs> Not a big fan of reality shows. There are... Every once in a while, I might find one that I kind of like, but most of them I'm just, like, really not my thing. And mostly because it's just, like, all drama and stuff, so that's, that's not really my thing. I don't... Not a fan of reality shows, except for, like, maybe a few choices. So if it's something that's, like, kind of interesting, then I might enjoy it. But when it's just, like, people screaming at each other or something like that, it's like, yeah, that's not... To me, that's not really very entertaining. 
But that's pretty much what G4 started turning into. It was like, just weird reality shows. Except there was a show, an animated show called Code Monkeys, which... It was interesting, like, you know, it was okay, and then... But then there were shows like Cops, which... <laughs> that, that show is literally almost as old as I am. And it, it's like, it was already on like five or six other networks, so like, why is it on another one? It, 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 why is it on a gaming network that... <laughs> wow. Like, but... Yeah. So, good old G4. And, you know... Even, like, if that were... I guess... It's not like, it was cool for what it was for the time, you know, times have changed, and TV, any way you look at it, TV is pretty much dying. I'm like, I don't even watch that much TV anymore, like, weekly, weekly episodic shows, like, I don't really do that anymore. You know, most people, myself included, mostly just, like, stream, like, movies and TV shows, or even still watch, like, DVDs and stuff. That's pretty much what I just do, but I just thought I'd take you back to a time when streaming didn't exist, and we had that really cool video game network, so... Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I'll see you next time, and if you like this video, feel free to thumbs up, maybe even subscribe if you haven't already, and once again, I said it before, I'll say it again, I'll see you next time.